This mushroom rice is the side dish of your dreams. It has incredible depth of flavor and it's so quick and easy to make. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is prep our mushrooms. Now, here is the ultimate question. Do you wash mushrooms or do you not wash them? Most people say don't wash them, including me. And the reason why is because mushrooms are incredibly porous. And if you wash them with water, they're gonna soak up a lot of that water. And it's gonna be hard when we're sauteing them to get them nice and crispy. So I'm not gonna wash them, but this is what I do. I take a damp cloth, just like this. It could be a paper towel. And I just rub the cap side of the mushrooms just a little bit. And this helps me get any kind of dirt free off the mushrooms, but it doesn't allow the mushroom to soak up a lot of that liquid. Let me know in the comments below whether you guys wash your mushrooms or not. Next thing we're gonna do is take out the stems of the mushrooms. We're just gonna toss those. We don't need them for this recipe. And then we're gonna be slicing these mushrooms nice and thin. It doesn't really matter how thin you do it, just do it as consistently as you can. Cremini mushrooms are my absolute favorite mushrooms to use in this recipe, but you really could use any mushrooms that you love. And guys, sorry, I forgot to tell you, this is a pound of mushrooms. And as you can see, it's quite a lot of mushrooms once they're sliced up. Of course, they're gonna cook down smaller when we pan fry them. But keep in mind, if you're doing a big batch of this mushroom rice, use a pound. But if you're doing a smaller batch, you could easily use a half to three quarters of a pound. Next, we're gonna be prepping our onions and garlic. First, we're gonna be dicing up an entire uh, small onion, and then we're gonna be mincing four cloves of garlic. All right, now we're gonna cook the mushrooms. We're gonna first add one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of olive oil into the pan. Now, like I said before, this is a lot of mushrooms. So you might have to do these in a couple batches depending on how big your pan is. And one really important note here is that you don't wanna overcrowd the mushrooms in the pan. So I like to give them a little bit of breathing room just so they brown up really nicely. If you crowd them too much, they're gonna get a little bit more steam than they are browned. All right, so these are ready for their first flip. So let's give them a little toss. And let me show you guys exactly what we're looking for here. Okay, see how beautiful and brown these mushrooms have gotten? That is perfect. When the first batch of mushrooms are done, just add them to a bowl and we're gonna batch cook all the rest of the mushrooms and keep adding them to the same bowl. All right, the second batch of mushrooms is done. So I'm gonna add it to the same bowl as the first. And they are looking super beautiful. Next thing we're gonna do is saute our onions and garlic. We're gonna use this same pan as we did uh, for cooking the mushrooms. What's really nice too about these one pan uh, side dishes like this is that you're letting the flavors of everything sort of uh, start building on each other. So we've got some of the uh, juices from the mushrooms that's gonna be cooking into the garlic and onions. And so it's all gonna come out really tasty. And we pretty much have enough oil left over from the mushrooms in the pan still, but I'm just gonna add one tablespoon more. And we're gonna saute these for, you know, a couple of minutes until the onion has softened. Now I'm gonna add this onion and garlic into the same bowl as my mushrooms. This looks so good. I mean, I feel like you could eat it just as is. Does anybody else have this thing where they have to get every little piece of onion and garlic out of your pan because you don't wanna waste it. Or maybe it's like an OCD thing. I don't know. I think I have it, whatever it is. Every little speck. Okay, I'm actually gonna be chill and just leave these five pieces of onion in there. All right, we're gonna give these mushrooms, garlic, and onion a quick mix. And then we're going to salt and pepper to taste. So just a nice big pinch or two of pepper and the same with the salt. So we're gonna give it another quick mix and we're gonna set this aside. All right, next we're gonna be cooking our rice. So I've got one cup of long grain white rice. I'm gonna dump that in this same pan again. One thing that I really like to do is toast my rice before I boil it. And the reason for that is, is I've found that by toasting the rice a little bit, you're really gonna bring out the flavor of the grain. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil just to kind of get everything moving. Maybe a half a tablespoon. And I'm gonna let this rice move around in the pan a little bit. Now, this isn't something that I put in the uh, actual blog post, in the actual recipe that's on my website, but it's a nice thing that I want you guys to know. Guys, my heat was off. So let me let it heat up and toast the rice. I think I'm moving a little too fast today. All right, the rice has been toasting for just about 45 seconds to a minute. You don't wanna cook it too long or it's gonna to start to burn and that would be very bad. What you'll notice when you look at the rice is that it's gonna turn a little bit more white. 
So that's how you know it's toasted and ready to go. Next, we're gonna add two cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then we're gonna cover it and simmer it for about 15 minutes. All right, the rice is done cooking. Let's take a look and see how we did. Ooh, it looks incredible. Look at how fluffy and beautiful this rice came out. Okay, for the next step, we're gonna combine everything together. Let's take our mushrooms, onion, and garlic, put it into our pan here. And then we're gonna mix everything together. And look how good this looks, guys. Oh man, I can't wait to give this a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my Healthy Recipes playlist. Okay, let's dig in here. I'm gonna add one little garnish here. You know, I forgot to get green onion. I was gonna do sliced green onions on top, but I had some chives growing in the garden in the back, so that's gonna work perfectly too. So let's just garnish with a little bit of chives. Give it another quick mix here. Okay, let's get into this. It's gonna be hot. Oh, come on. This mushroom rice recipe, is gonna be your new favorite side dish. I can guarantee you it's got great hints of garlic, mushroom, onion, and the rice cooked in the chicken broth is just so delicious. Guys, I know you're gonna love this one. You gotta give it a try. See you in the next video.